Patriots owner Robert Kraft raises the Vince Lombardi Trophy after New England won Super Bowl 53, Photo 11, Christopher Hainwinkle, USA TOTA, the subtitle of the NFL's personal conduct policy, league policies for players, suggests the eight-page document applies to only league employees who wear helmets and shoulder pads. But there's a sentence at the bottom of page 6 that makes it clear the policy applies to others. Ownership and club or league management have traditionally been held to a higher standard and will be subject to more significant discipline when violations of the personal conduct policy occur. So what does that mean for Patriots owner Robert Kraft, who is expected to be charged for soliciting prostitution at a day spa in Jupiter, Florida? It's hard to say, for multiple reasons. Are you a sports fan? Stay in the know. Subscribe to AsCentral.com today. First, Kraft, 77, has denied the charges which are misdemeanors. Maybe he really did just go to this spa for massages. Although it seems odd a billionaire would visit this day spa in a strip mall. After all, there are plenty of massage therapists who have mobile businesses. Second, when it comes to metting out punishment, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's record has been inconsistent. He was ready to give former Ravens running back Ray Rice the equivalent of a sympathetic hug until video surfaced of Rice punching his fiancée in 2014. And Goodell allowed the Deflategate case to drag out far too long, and the resulting punishment was too severe, a four-game suspension for quarterback Tom Brady, a $1 million fine for the Patriots and the loss of two draft choices. Third, Kraft's situation is far different than anything else Goodell and the NFL have encountered. NFL owners and executives have been in trouble before, of course. In 2014, Colts owner Jim Irsay was suspended six games and fined $500,000 for driving under the influence and possession of controlled substances. And last summer, the Cardinals suspended general manager Steve Kime for five weeks and fined him $200,000 after his arrest for extreme DUI. The NFL signed off on that punishment. The charges against Kraft and dozens of other men were the result of a sting operation to expose human trafficking. No details have emerged about how the women who worked in the spa arrived in the United States, but the implication is clear. If it turns out those women who worked at the spa were there against their will, Goodell will have no choice but to punish Kraft well beyond a suspension of a few games and $500,000 or so. Police say they have video evidence of the criminal acts. Still, Kraft maintains he's innocent. Thank you. You're almost signed up for sports breaking news. Keep an eye out for an email to confirm your newsletter registration. More newsletter 7 If the charges against Kraft don't hold up, he could face punishment, according to the NFL's conduct policy, in cases where a player is not charged with a crime, or is charged but not convicted, he may still be found to have violated the policy if the credible evidence establishes that he engaged in conduct prohibited by this personal conduct policy, that applies to owners, too. In case you missed it, check out the food available at games around the valley.